So last time, we looked at a geometrical way to compute the square root of 181. And so you can see the squares and, and then all the calculations. Now this is a lot of work for essentially something um, um, that you could press one button on a, a calculator for. But if you don't have a calculator, you may want to do this in a, in a faster way. And so I'm just going to show you a, a kind of a classic way that people actually compute square roots on paper. Okay, so what you do is you start with your number. So in this case, 181. Then what you do is you put, it's like long division, you put this bar over it, and you count back from the decimal places by twos, okay? And so here we have one, and so what the first step is you need to find a square that's like one, and so that's easy because it's just one, <laughs> okay? And so you, you square it and you put it here. And so now it starts to look a little bit more like the division, because you subtract, you get zero. But this time, instead of pulling one digit down, you pull down two. And so we have 81 in the next row. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever's on top and double it. And so right now, what's on top is one, and so we double it two, and we put a blank here, and a blank here. So now what we're looking for is a digit we can place here, so that when we multiply this digit times this number, we get something like tw uh, 81. And so we can imagine if we put a, a 4 here, so a 4 goes there and a 4 goes there, this is like 24. 4 times 24 is almost 100. It's too big. And so let's try a 3. Okay, so we put a 3 here, and so we say 3 times 3, 9, 3 times 2, uh, 69, subtract 2, 1. Okay, so now we continue. We pull two more decimals down, and we've got uh, 1,200. And so we double what's on top, and so that's the 13. 13 becomes the 26, and we put a blank after it. Now it's this blank. And so now we're looking for 260 times what gives me about 1,200. And so um, if we try 5, and this were 250, what would happen? It would be like four quarters, so it would be just a little bit high, right? Because think of five quarters. It's going to be 125, and so we'll go shy and go four, okay? So four, put the four here, both blanks, and so we now just do the multiplication. Four times four, 16. Four times six, 24 plus one. And then, um, what was that again, 20? and then 4 times 2, 8, 10. Okay, so now when we subtract this, um, we get a 4 here, a 4, and here a 1. Okay, same thing. Pull two digits down. Okay, take the top, multiply it by 2, and so that's 8, 6, 2, and we put the blank there, and a blank here. So now we're looking at how many 2,600s-ish are there in that, and, um, hmm, so, this looks like about, if this were 3,000, this would be close to f 5 times 3,015, so let's give it a shot, and if we're lucky, unlucky, we'll just have to redo it, okay, so we put the 5 here and a 5 here, 5 times 5, 25, uh, carry the 2, 5 times 8, 42, carry the 4, 5 times 6 uh, is 30, um, and finally 5 times 2, 13. Okay, so this is 5, 7, 9, 0. Okay, and so we could continue and do another decimal um, if we want. So um, simply what you'd do is you'd put two more decimal places, and you'd now be looking at um, 97,000. You'd double this number here, which is now 0, carry the 1, uh, 9, 6, 2, blank. And so now you're looking at how many 26,000s are there in um, this, and 26, it looks like there's going to be 3, doesn't there? So we can put a 3 here and, and a 3 here. And we can multiply it and get more decimal places if we need to. Anyway, the thing is, you can see that this was a quick uh, way uh, to find out 
what we had last time, was, which was 13.45, and it wouldn't be that much work to get more decimal places. So what we can see is the same numbers arise, right? There's our 69 that we, we subtracted. There's our um, 10.56, and here is our 13325. And so this is just a simplification of, of what we did here. And so it's the same thing, except um, it's making it more of a, of an, a calculation. Okay? And so we already know that it, it multiplies out. And so that works, um, but we can do more. We can do more calculations this way by having it easy. But just remember, you you first the first step is to count this way back. Uh, so jumping by twos, the first step is to find the square of the number, uh, the square root of the number that's going to best do that. And so this time it was one. We squared it and we subtracted, ended up with the eighty-one. And then we started doubling what we already had, getting the 2, leaving a blank, filling in the blank with a number, 3, multiplying it out, and then doing the same thing. So we doubled the 13, got 26, had a blank, filled in the blank with 4, multiply, subtracted, and continued. And so we can continue this indefinitely. Of course, the calculations get more tough, but it depends on your accuracy. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed that, and I believe that doing this calculation will help you um, with your estimation skills and um, an easy way to come up with square roots. Good luck with that. Cheers.